Let's talk about taking care of your paintbrushes, especially if you're new. Um, most artists just use a container of water. I use uh, old plastic containers or yogurt containers and fill it up with water. Now, one thing to take note, see this part where the ferrule, that's that metal part, and the handle meet? You don't want the water to go above this point because if the water gets in there, it might loosen the glue and your brush might come apart. So don't do that. Another thing people do, especially while they're painting for hours and hours, is they leave their brushes in the water. It's so tempting to do, but do you see how my bristles get bent, especially the points? They'll stay that way if you leave it that way too long. So to fix these two problems, one thing you can do is use a piece of tape. There's other tools to help you with this, but I just kind of put a piece of tape over top and put the handles on that. This keeps the bristles in the water to stay moist a little bit, but the water isn't too far up and the bristles aren't at the bottom getting bent. So there is that. And then when you do clean them off at the end, I just use warm water. Um, take them out of the dirty water, use warm water, and honestly, just dish soap. Uh, but if you do let the brush get hard with paint on it, especially by accident, here's a good brush cleaner. I use Windsor & Newton, and it's for dried acrylic and oil. And a little bit goes a long way. So you don't need near this much water, just enough to cover the bristles. And you can soak them for um, just a few minutes to a couple hours, depending on what you need. And then the paint is loosened, and then you're able to wash it off like a regular uh, paintbrush that that didn't have it hardened on. So now another thing you'll see me using a lot of times are makeup brushes. If you didn't hear my explanation, it's just because I work with a lot of kids and like memory care residents that don't take care of the brush while they're painting. So I have to clean a lot of really messy brushes all at once. So I break all of the rules. And I show people this when I show them my workflow every week and they are horrified because I stick like 100, 150 brushes in this uh, stock pot in my slop sink. It is very dirty. Um, but I fill that up with warm water and put a little bit of dish soap in there. And then I actually use a makeup scrubbing pad and just lightly scrub them because they are makeup brushes. Remember, these are not real paint brushes, but they do the job, honestly. And sometimes I think they do the job even better. Uh, but I do that, give them a good rinse. And what I really like about them too is the handles are plastic. So then, so I don't have tons of paint on them. I just take a magic eraser. Since they've been in the water for a couple minutes, the paint is loosened and I just get that off. So they look brand new. Again, they're not paint brushes, so don't be horrified. <laughs> That's just what I do. But again, back to regular paint brushes, just in the end, after you've washed them off, uh, just make sure you form them with your finger, getting all those loose hairs back into a point. And then when they dry, you can uh, sit them up in a container or off to the side, and you will be ready to go. Let me know if you have any other questions.